name is Tisa. Today I will be unpacking the Passport Size Traveler's Notebook as well as setting it up for the year 2022. But first things first, cup of coffee, which um, looks so much better earlier before I started to shoot. Mm. Still tastes good. I know that it's a little bit late in the year to be doing a new year setup but I just recently purchased the passport size I have been wanting it for quite a while now but I just recently purchased it and so we're gonna be doing a 2022 setup in mid-march and that's okay um, if you're here because you have been eyeing it as well and you want to purchase it we're gonna open it you can see whatever else is included in this like starter kit and we will compare it as well with the regular size which i also have okay so let's start first with the unpacking of the traveler's notebook so like i mentioned earlier this is the um starter kit passport size so these are everything that's included in the um, in the set. So you have your canvas bag, I would say, um, and you have obviously the leather cover. I have it in camel. This is the camel collar. It comes with a blank filler. So you have the blank filler here. And an extra rubber band. Okay. In an ideal world, ideally, these are everything that you need to start. Like you don't need anything else. But what's wonderful about the Traveler's Notebook is that you can customize it based on what you want to use it for. I have here my regular size traveler's notebook, which I've had for maybe about six years, but you wouldn't be able to tell because, um, because of the patina and it's not because of the quality of the leather or the quality of the traveler's notebook just a traveler's notebook that has not seen a lot of traveling in the last six years and it's because I don't really bring this with me maybe it's a size or maybe what I use it for I generally use it for journaling and that's not something that I need to do outside I usually just uh, do it at home but I want that to change with the password size I want the passport size to be something that I bring with me often. So I want it to have like fillers that are customized to that specific need. So I just want to compare the color. This is the brown and this is the camel. This is the size of the regular uh, traveler's notebook. And this is the size of the passport one. Now we're gonna move on to the filler. So like I mentioned earlier, I've been eyeing the passport size. So in the last couple of months, I purchased different kinds of fillers, uh, even before I got the notebook. So I have a couple here, but obviously we're not gonna use, I'm not gonna use all of them. Um, okay, let's put that here on the side for now. I have a sketch paper here. Uh, I'm definitely gonna use that one. So it's also blank, just the difference I guess with the like the regular blank one is that the paper is thinner compared to the sketch paper, to the sketch pad. So 
we're gonna use this one. Uh, this one is a craft paper folder. I guess this one's good for when you're traveling so you have like um, a place to put say like a metro card or um, tickets or anything that you want to save from the trip. So this one's also good. I'm just not sure whether it's something that I need at the moment or something that I will use at the moment. So we're gonna put that here on the side. Last year, we went on a uh, trip to Vancouver and there's a store there called Paper Ya, yeah, I think, and they sell traveler's notebook stuff. So this is one of them. This is another thing that I wanted to use for like traveling for sketches, but uh, again, it's not something that I think that I need right now. The reason why I purchased these is because I think they're limited editions and I just want to grab them while I still can. So we're going to put that here on the side. These are extra rubber bands for when you want to put like different fillers together. I also bought a watercolor paper. Like I mentioned, I want to be able to bring this with me all the time and I want to be able to do more sketches outside. Um, so we're going to include that one. Okay, this one is just a grid filler. This one's just a grid filler um, that I plan to use for notes. So I'm gonna use that one as well. I don't know if that's too much already. <laughs> we'll see. And this is another like limited edition. I think this was 2021. So Traveler's Notebook uh, usually comes out with like a theme for the year. So I think this was the theme for 2021. I was also able to buy a cute tote. I think, yeah, I think it's the same theme from the same year. Possibly 2021, possibly 2020. I'm not that sure. This is also a folder, a clear folder. Again, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna use it, but um, we're gonna put that aside for now. This is just a letter pad. It's from the same edition as the one that I showed earlier, the accordion one. Where is that? Here. I'm gonna put that aside. So. I bought the Traveler's Notebook um, last March 1st. Because it was already March, I actually found these guys that are on sale for $2. $2. Um, it's already March, so we've already like missed some of the months, but it's well worth it and I'll show you why. It comes with the 2022 stickers. These are already worth $2. I think that I will be using the monthly for now. Because I want to bring this with me all the time, I'm not really good at using Google Calendar. I, I like writing th things down, so I probably will use this a lot. I also want to show you let me just grab it before that i purchased the monthly for the regular size which is this one right here this was before i found this for two dollars um i personally prefer this size for the monthly. This is the undated one, so you can start it whenever. Um, I prefer this only because there's more space for me to write on compared to this one right here. But for the purpose of just bringing it with me and jotting down quickly, like um, appointments and whatnot, I think this is just the perfect size. There is also the weekly. Um, and 
the weekly looks like this. I might have to forego the January to June one and start with the July, most likely. Because there's just so many. Okay, we're gonna put that on the side. And I wanna show you here, so this is the 2022 guide. And it shows you all the different kinds of um, fillers that are available as well as the covers that are available. That there's a black, there's a brown, there's a camel, and there's a blue. I'm pretty sure that on April, they are also coming out with limited edition designs. I'm gonna try and uh, put it at the end of the video. But generally, these are what's available for the Traveler's Notebook in terms of fillers, and cover. Okay, now that the stuff that we don't need is out of the way, I'm gonna um, we're gonna start setting up for 2022. Um, I have here the monthly, the grid, the watercolor. Oh no, I don't know which one's watercolor and which one's sketch paper. I think this is watercolor because this one's thicker. I'm, I'm thinking now that there are too many, so I'm probably not going to use the watercolor for now. And just use the sketch paper. Okay, so these are what I've decided to put on the traveler's notebook for now. We have the sketch paper, the grid, and the monthly. These are the ones that we're going to be decorating, setting up for 2022. So I usually decorate the cover of my fillers. This is entirely up to you if you have one, if you want to decorate yours. I usually do something like this um, with a year on it. But because we have the sticker from 2022, I don't have to put the date or the year, I mean. So I'm just gonna decorate this. never had a passport size before so it's definitely new to me to be decorating a cover this small like I obviously won't need too much decoration I don't know if I'm gonna use that
there you have it. The three covers. So now that these are done, let's put the rubber band. Just so you can put them together. I'm pretty sure there's a more graceful way of doing this, but it works, so... Okay... There you have it! My 2022 setup. Monthly, I have here my sketchbook and grid for notes.